allow you to purchase the ad through our marketplace, submit it, five minutes later it's showing in Orchard Road on the build screen. When I was 11, to make the game that I was playing, which at that time was Minecraft, more fun, I learned how to use Java to build mods for the game. We had only one computer at that time that was shared by like six kids. When he decided he would pick up coding, he actually used to borrow books from the National Library. He would figure out how to do the coding, making his apps and everything by himself. When I was at that age, learning how to deal with these kind of failures was really a tough pill as well. I would find myself on the bed, um, under my blanket, hyperventilating. Some could call it a panic attack. It's about two and a half years ago, his father had a stroke. His dad couldn't work anymore. So I said, if your dad isn't working, you have to think of ways to help out. So it's currently 7 in the morning and this is normally the time that I head to school. What I'm working on is one of the wireframes for one of the app features that we're building so that I can send it off to our design team which is based overseas. They can work on it while I'm at class and when I get out of class, some designs will already be ready and I can start working on the code for them. I've seen him stay awake for at least 48 hours before just because he got so invested in his work. Young startup founders are not really taken seriously. I can understand from the investor's point of view because it's kind of hard to entrust someone that's 17 or 18 with that kind of money. For example, in Usports, my CEO is much older than me. He's also an established entrepreneur. He runs many businesses. So when we go to an investor, he can definitely see that the company is set up properly and we have a good and experienced team. So I think some of the biggest misconceptions about me and about many entrepreneurs is how glamorous the job is. A lot of people have this idea I live in luxury, which I don't. I don't buy branded clothes. I buy one pair of shoes and I wear it for a year. Until it breaks, I eat Thai fun every day. This was me in right before year one. I was super ripped. I couldn't find the time to maintain that same kind of diet and exercise routine. And I turned to food in many ways to kind of compensate for the stress I was facing at work. Quitting, I think about it every day. I'm just thinking, like, did I go too far this time? Why am I trying to do something so crazy? But I'm also constantly shutting that voice down, telling myself that this is the path that I chose to take. And I know that my job is stressful, but I also know that I wouldn't be happy doing anything else. I have a long way to go. I hope that I'll be successful enough that I can make it onto Forbes 30, under 30 age. Yeah.